Hey there, this is Brad Brad Tech Online, and today I'm testing GData 2010 antivirus. Uh, it has full uh, signatures updated through both of its uh, virus signature database through Avast and Bitdefender. I've got a collection here of uh, 24 different uh, variants in the wild as of the past day or two, and we're going to see how uh, well GData will go ahead and detect it. We'll go ahead and disable the monitor and pull all these onto the desktop. Now let's see what happens when I re-enable the monitor. I'm going to go ahead and try to launch this one right here. It detected it, ate it off, detected this one. Let's run the bot. Looks like it detected the bot. Detected four for four. Five out of five. Six out of six. Seven out of seven. Eight out of eight. And we're getting Kodak. To install right here so it looks like we did get one well I finally found it it's kind of nine I guess um, yeah I'd say that we kinda got infected here off this codec file but let's keep going here's a fake antivirus surely this can't be is this serious I downloaded this right here. Huh. Off of the side. Okay, that got caught. GData caught that also. Let's see if load gets passed right here. Suspicious behavior is displaying suspicious activity. If you do not recognize this, an attempt to is being made to create a msxslt3.exe. Going to stop and move the file to quarantine. That file was detected. Both of them. Okay. We'll try to run this fake antivirus that on the machine. See what happens. Uh, suspicious behavior. I could allow it to keep on creating if I did the default action it's wanting me to. Um, I will go ahead and prohibit. Well, it went ahead and disinfected it anyways. A um, bunch of temp files trying to be created. Uh, it's telling me it's suspicious. I'm going to tell it to block it. It's SVC host. Um, another behavior guardian. Uh, I'm going to tell it to stop and disinfect. Another behavior I'm disinfecting. That file got ate off. So here we are with these files left. Kodak, I run it again. Let's see what happens. It's a uh, redirects me to a Pornhub site. Um, the behavior guardian kicks in on these two right here for GData.
this is actually a newer a safe fighter setup one is than setup. Let's see. Not seeing anything. SVC host. This is the one that owns a lot of machines. Um, it's trying to create an ex 08exe It wants me to allow this action. I told it it shouldn't allow it. Um, see what happens if I if I allow it to happen. Of course, the file started running. GData isn't doing anything really here. Go ahead and stop it. Now I'm going to go ahead and pause and do a scan with GData and see what happens. Starting a scan right here and I will un unpause whenever the scan is done okay we're back and it looks like I detected a file.bat, a DLL file, and a couple of uh, temp files and it detected that codec.exe on the desktop I went ahead and sent those files in for analysis <coughs> So it looks like these files on the desktop right here um, it detects this is infected but isn't deleting it. Let's go ahead and scan these remaining four. Looks like out of all 20, uh, let's see. Twenty one there, and then inside this zip file, there's twenty four. So, out of twenty four, there are uh, these right here that are um, being detected by the behavior guardian. Also, if you notice, I'll try to execute them. Um, the behavior guardian will kick in and say suspicious activity is happening, um, and then block it. But there are no signature. Uh, overall, I'd rate GData very high. I, I think it did really good on all these threats that I have collected and thrown at it today. Um, so I, I'd recommend this if somebody told me they were running GData. You know, I'd know that they were running a top uh, top of the line antivirus product. That's very good. Uh, I would recommend this.